<laughs> oh yeah, really going deep here. Some JDM. Yeah. Get your projects out and your wallets open. No, because <laughs> uh, it's gonna drain you dry. So this is a Sylvia right-hand drive um, SR20 swap. Right, Edgar? Yeah. It did not come with it originally. No, this is automatic. Uh, uh, it did not, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck came in this thing. It says it's got 1.6 stickers on the side. So. It was an auto car and now it's a manual SR swap car. With some uh, electrical issues. Yeah, these wheels are so get up the lift. Edgar's not too happy about the Sylvia. Um, it's really a cool car, uh, nothing personal, Joe, but uh, he's a little worried, I think, that uh, he's not gonna be able to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, and that's unusual for Edgar, but it's okay. I have faith in him, even if he doesn't have faith in himself right now. Did the car sit, like, uh, outside? Did yeah. the... Okay. That's why it has this, like, what, oxidation yeah. all over everything? So right now, I guess what's happening is that when you put the, um, when the car is on running, um, what the windshield wipers go, the headlights don't work. Uh, what else? Uh, well, for one, the dash, the dash and the door timer are consistently going off key in or key out. Um, yeah, wipers are full blast all the time. It doesn't matter what you do with the switch, whether you unplug it or not. Um, although when you unplug the headlight timer, it shuts them off, so it's probably an issue with that. Saying I've got the headlights on when I don't, so it'll sit there and do that with that fuse in. Um, headlights don't work. The fog lights do work, uh, but you got no low beam or high beam, um, which is weird because I have power and ground going to the headlight, but as soon as you put a load on it, it's not enough load or it's not enough um, power to turn on anything. So what is it pulling voltage from somewhere else? No, oh, it's no. probably just like whatever it's poor connection, high resistance somewhere. Um, because I've got power and ground with no load. But once you put a load on it, i.e. the headlight, then the power goes away and disappears. Um, the blower motor stays on all the time, unless you unplug the thermistor. Um, but yeah, as soon as you key on, it's full blast all the time. Doesn't matter what you do with the HVAC controls. Um, uh, trying to think, I think I'm pretty sure there was a couple of things. Well, the car didn't run, and it had a bad ECU. Um, <coughs> put a link on it. Finally, got the car running. I feel like wasn't the wasn't the ECU like um, melted or something? No. Something happened. There was like a ground short or something. He said he smelled smoke. Something with the radio. That's okay, so you're not sure if... No, he, had, he, had, he said smoke coming out of the radio, um, and then everything went berserk. I guess something happened with the alternator. The car got like 16 volts or something. I don't know. Um, Are you afraid that there's the, melted wires? I haven't even found melted wires. That's why I have to pull the dash, because I'm at the point where it's like a, I'm finding nothing. And you have like continuity and the wires are good? Well, the problem is I don't have, I also don't have a reliable wiring diagram because you can't oh, find yeah. a service manual for these cars in English. They're in Japanese only if you can even find one. So I have no means of having a good wire diagram. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's ask the internet. Internet, if you have a, uh, a what, a Sylvia wiring diagram, uh, or if you can translate Japanese. Please let us know. Yeah. <laughs> For real though, if you can have, like, if you find that diagram or you have that diagram, like, legit, this is not, like, the first time we've yeah, encountered. Yeah, pop-up headlights. You can find them all day for 180s, but not for, you know. Yeah, not 180, 180 so but, like, yeah, so the 180 SX is different. Oh, the headlight's not here. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, let me show you. This, Johnny, legit Sylvia. Edgar's gonna rip the dash out. So let's let's take a look at the car in a little bit um, more detail. I really like this car. I think the color is beautiful. Um, I think it is its OEM color. Uh, this dash is like, it's so, uh, it's like velvet, it's molded. It's, um, it's not like a cover. It's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, there are some cracks in it. Um, I know he has plans to fix the trunk, or at least paint it. Uh, so we'll, um, 
We'll be back when Edgar digs into the dash. Uh, wish him luck. See if he can find. Well, that's what I'm saying, <laughs> obviously. All right, well, stay tuned for more stuff. Oh, and, um, you know, subscribe and like for all that good stuff for us, please, because um, we, we, we do this for y'all. We don't do this for us. Well, not the filming shit. Everything else, yes, but filming is for you guys. Let's get you inspired. Some JDM. Yeah. Get your projects out and your wallets open. No. Because <laughs> uh, it's going to drain you dry. <laughs> Seriously, I had a $5,000 budget for my car. See that somewhere. Where did you get that number from? That's so that number came from the Subaru, my Subaru. gasket and instead of buying a new IG what uh, short block that was five grand so that is my budget five grand which I've already kind of no I don't think I've blown it because I sold things so I'm, I'm around you know yeah, you and plus like people are donating parts like our customers because they're the best um, so yeah anyway if you want to see me struggle through my first swap take a look at my uh series it's in take a look at our series sleeper shop car series but right now we're working on my car because Edgar's car is still at the machine shop <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is a really long one um but yeah we appreciate all you guys uh you know watching and we're trying to take some uh advice and so feel free to comment and tell us what we need to do to make it better, to make you want to watch us. Just, you know, not in a creepy way. So what are you doing right now? You're testing the Just trying to figure fuses? out what the hell's going on. And... Are any of them blown? Nope. Are any of them missing? Nope. No, just oh, the one that I have pulled eyes. out. Just the, one. just the one that I have pulled out because the fucking time of, uh, or the door thing keeps going off. Saying I've got the headlights on when I don't. So it'll sit there and do that with that fuse in. Well, I'm I don't just see anything like melted or broken or 
biggest thing is that I literally see nothing. Like nothing's, nothing here is melted, broken, or, you know, that I can see. And it's just so much shit here. Yeah, I mean, there's like, it's actually not too bad under here. Usually I'm like petrified, but I mean, the harness is intact. It's not been fucked with. Everything is like it's wrapped up. Work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Well, that's what I'm saying. Could it be if it's not the wires, then maybe it's the. I mean, if the. My whole thing is if that fuse is going in and triggering something that's not even. Like, why is that? I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not, I don't mean to question you. I'm just curious. Well, you and me both. <laughs> What fuse is popping? For the reverse lights. Is that the only one that you know is? Yep. He is determined to figure this out one way or another. Sunday night. We just look. Day three. Uh, diagnosing the silver. <laughs> oh yeah, so um, you want to tell everybody what you purchased last night? Uh, just an OEM Jap manuals that I can't fucking read. But maybe they have pictures, right? Yeah, the descriptions that I can read. Did you find anything? There's a short story on this fuse, but I'm having a hard time tracing it down because, you know, of course it branches off to 90 different fucking fuses. Yeah. Which, which fuse? The one that you were having, the headlight one? Uh, the reverse lights. The reverse lights. I'm trying to tackle one thing at a time here. Whose yep. thing is going off? Ooh, are you okay? Yeah, what, what do you need, babe? The black table? Yeah. So, the genius has figured out two problems. <laughs> so, what's causing that fuse to blow, the reverse lamp fuse to blow, um, the ABS control module is bad, and it's shorted out internally. So, as soon as you put the fuse in there, it just pops it because it's shorting out the ground. Um, so pulled that off. Um, I mean, essentially, he doesn't even, I mean, this, all the ABS crap is deleted anyways. Um, so here it is. Um, pulled no it out. No fucking good. Doesn't pop the fuse <laughs> anymore. Um, so then I moved on to the next thing of figuring out why when you take the key out the ignition, the chimer keeps on but, uh, beeping at you and the dash lights stay on. Um, come to find out, he had the kick panel light um, connector plugged into something that wasn't supposed to be behind the dash and it was back feeding the dash. Okay. So um, that issue is solved. Um, what was that causing? I was, it was oh. back feeding the dash. Um, so the lights would stay on here and the chimer kept beeping at you even though you had the key out. That, so that was the headlight issue or no? No. Okay. No. That was the lights inside? Yeah. So okay. pretty much he had, this is the connector for the kick panel. Um, this I believe is for, let me see, the glove box. Um, and he had them plugged in, which they, of course they fit. Well, of course, right? Yep. And so you see that there's the problem. So the lights are on, the timer is beeping even though the key is out the ignition. Because essentially the doors are open, so it's trying to power up the kick panel light. And instead of powering up the kick panel light, it's back feeding the system um, and uh, keeping all that crap on. Fun stuff. 
because I think this is for the the glove box light and the switch for the glove box. Okay. But I, I don't have a glove box. The car wasn't didn't have it when we dropped it off. <laughs> so it's just a random open connector, I guess, right? Yeah, that... pretty much. Okay. Essentially, yes. So that takes two things off uh, the list. Now there is also um, the so the headlight issue is something, right? Yeah, the head. Uh, that's that's something else I gotta figure out next. Um, the oh. Oops, shit. Oh, Jesus. Um, the headlights aren't coming on, and even though. There's, uh, I, when I unplug them, I can measure power and ground across the terminals, but as soon as a load is applied, the power essentially disappears. Um, I can just catch it with a Noid light, but it doesn't power it up right, so it's probably got either a poor connection or high resistance somewhere that um, is causing not full power to get over there. That driver door window doesn't go up and down, but that's the least of my concerns. Yeah, that could be just the motor is bad. Yeah. That could actually be mechanical. Yeah. <laughs> as far as the wipers going on and off by themselves, that was the uh, wiper timer. Um, I just stole the one off of your car and plugged it in. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's reason number 87 why you don't want to just throw parts at something. Because I had asked Edgar last night, I said, oh, why don't we just uh, grab another harness? Maybe the harness is shorted um, somewhere. Maybe something is bad or whatever. And he was like, well, you get a whole new harness and then you still have the same problem, which is a good point. So better to make sure that it's not the harness. Yeah. And that really, without a diagram, without a wiring diagram, um, that really requires you to kind of just go bit by bit, wire by wire, um, connection by connection. And yeah, I mean, some stuff is similar, but other stuff is not. We'll be back with, um, yeah, I guess some, if we can solve any issues, uh, any other issues today. That takes care of a lot of them. Yeah, it really does. Big ones. So now maybe you can start moving on to why the car is here, which I guess we're going to figure... Oh, yeah. Why? You pull off the timer and you can... And it stops working all the time, but then you don't have any of the low speed function. Um... Or, and they don't retract back to their home position. Where can you get one of those? Good old eBay. Mm hmm So even, you can, even, you can run wipers without this box, but they don't return to home by themselves, so you gotta shut them off when they get to, back to the home position. Which is annoying. But we at least know what the problem is, he just keeps them up. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you were going to do a link, right? Well, it needs, has it, the ECU is bad. Oh, you have the, it's, I mean, it's, it's running on a link. It's running on link because the ECU is bad. That's right. Yeah, but also ejected from the forward pad, so it's running on three cylinders. Mm, that's why it sounds like that. The next thing I have to figure out is why the blower motor is on 100% of the time. Could that be like a relay? Bad relay? Yeah, but I haven't plugged all the relays and the shit still is on all the time. So now I gotta go bit by bit and figure that out. So what do you do? Uh, check the continuity of each of the... Check all the pins, make sure all the pins are yeah. clean. Or... We're closed. <laughs> We're busy. Yeah, clean some of this shit. There's just so much crap. I mean, there was just useless wiring, you know, and other crap gauge that would be yeah. Yep. Yep. So, this is why I'm happy. My car was unmolested. Because <laughs> I don't have 
half as many issues, even though my car is a turd nugget. But no, you just got other issues. Yeah, I have. A, I just have regular basic issues, you know. Rust. Rust. Yeah. Rust being a big one. I think John's ready to tackle it though. He sent me pictures of like metal, so I don't know. Anyway, yeah. um, we're gonna let Edgar figure this out. Wish, wish him luck. Good yeah. luck. Good luck, everybody. Really leaking a lot of fuel there, babe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What can we do? Nothing. Just let it pour out. It's just gonna catch up. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll evaporate at least. Yeah. So, when changing injectors, have a good aerated place <laughs> and don't have any open flames. Were you looking at the injectors? Yeah, just looking down here so I could see why the hell this one quit working. It's been running on three cylinders. Because of this sucker? Yeah, it's, uh, they look like they're drilled out boshes or something. Our faves. Here they are. Injector Dynamics, of course. Joe chose to go with the 1050s. Things um, like injectors definitely want to get quality. So go with the best here. IDs. And then hopefully be running on four. They have four. It's the SR. Jeez. Even, I had to correct you. What? 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 Nothing like crunching, time crunch, like for the past three weeks to have nothing. <laughs> mm, for the event to get canceled multiple times. The event got canceled, weather. And then when we finally got out there, it fucking snapped the an axle. Yeah. So. On the first hit with any boost. <laughs> Seems to be the uh, going luck. trend this season. <laughs> luck of the duff. Yeah, luck of the duff. Oh shit, that's a good one. Luck of the duff. All right, we'll be back. Yes.